Blender 5.0, which is now in beta, brings interesting improvements to rendering, both in realism department and raw performance, which no one ever complained about getting more of. On the cycle side, subsurface scattering just got an accuracy boost. The principal shader's random all subsurface scattering now supports multiple scattering bounces, which means more realistic skin and translucent materials. You know, those murky dark patches will be reduced at the cost of a bit more render time. Another interesting update is the principal BSDF and metallic shader both now have a thin film option for iridescence. This simulates the rainbow sheen that you get on an oil slicks or soap bubbles due to a tiny film layers. The result is subtle on metals, but can produce gorgeous colored highlights, especially on different surfaces, which can instantly improve realism, for example for automotive shaders, and it has different applications in VFX. In this example, a metal surface with and without the new thin film effect. You can notice the iridescent rainbow tints on the one below. Cycles also changed how it handles volumes internally. Smoke and fire shaders now use nano VDB, I mean under the hood which will dramatically cut memory usage for different volumes, which is awesome for heavy simulations.